Good morning. Today is the 29th day of February in this 2024th year of our Lord, Leap Day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We make up that time differential in the spinning of the earth and its travels around the sun year after year, decade after decade. We do that every four years and uh, we get an extra day in this blessed month of February. The clock turns further to a new month beginning uh, tomorrow. We're thankful for God's presence that has set things in proper order, that has made it possible that we be sustained by all of the substances that are given to us as stewards of this earth, as stewards of this universe. We pray that we will be up for that task, that the earth might continue to spin, and we might continue to live, breathe, and have our being. Uh, today I found uh, two passages I'd like to share with you, and I think they are both significant uh, in terms of modeling a life that we might consider living. The first comes from Jesus' words in the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, in the fifth chapter of Matthew's Gospel. When Jesus saw the crowd, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the poor in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For the same way they persecuted the prophets that went before you. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus. These are the blessings or the gifts that God can bestow upon us by our life choices. So I found a, a kind of a pledge here. Uh, it was written by Thomas G. Petapiece uh, in Visions of a World Hungry. And these might be good options for us to consider adopting in our own life. Recognizing that the earth and the fullness thereof is a gift from our gracious God, and that we are called to cherish, nourish, and provide loving stewardship of the earth's resources, and recognizing that life itself is a gift and a call to responsibility, joy, and celebration, I make the following declarations. One, I declare myself a world citizen. Two, I commit myself to lead an ecologically sound life. Three, I commit myself to lead a life of creative simplicity and to share my personal wealth with the poor of the world. Four, I commit myself to join others in reshaping institutions in order to, to bring about a more just global society in which each person has full access to the needed resources for their, for their physical, emotional, intellectual, and their spiritual growth. Five, I commit myself to occupational accountability, and so doing, I will seek to avoid the creation of products that cause harm to others. Six, I affirm the gift of my body, and commit myself to its proper nourishment and physical well-being. Seven, I commit myself to examine continually my relations with others and to attempt to relate honestly, morally, and lovingly to those around me. Eight, I commit myself to personal renewal through prayer, 
meditation, and study. And nine, I commit myself to responsible participation in a community of faith. And let us pray. Lord, you call us blessed when we exercise in our life the responsibilities that we have and when we do those things that are in accord with your will you call us blessed we pray O oh lord that we also might look to the personal gift that we have each been blessed with the gift of a life and a life that has been filled in most cases to overflowing with those things that are needful for living a good and proper way in this world. And we know, O oh Lord, that the gift given is a trust, a trust until you will cherish it in your heavenly place forevermore. Help us to be good stewards of the resources you have provided, of the gifts you have blessed us with, that we might help shape and change each day of our living in a more positive way, that we might help this world to become the place that you created it to become one day. You gave to us all that was needful, and what, O oh Lord, have we done but lived irresponsibly? We have sometimes made choices that have been harmful not just to the world that we call home, but to the precious lives of people that walk this earth with us. Help us to be cognizant of our place within the great cosmos, that we might help one another as we were intended to be to each other, that we might be a source of love and care and concern rather than hatred and animosity and jealousy. We pray, O oh Lord, peace might come to this world in Gaza and Palestine, in the Ukraine, in Russia, in other places where the sabers of war and destruction and hatred and animosity and jealousy and greed roam and reign supreme. Bring your help to bear in troubled places. Care for those that we care for dearly. Pray for our friend Wendy as she undergoes uh, surgery today. That the hands of physicians might be guided in true and good ways to bring her a blessing. We pray for others that face those difficulties of life lived each day. For Nikki and Tom, for Miriam, for Donna. for Elaine, Mark and Katie, for Evelyn Tompkins, for Evelyn Rag, in celebration of the gift of life given to James, our friend, your hand of healing to be with others for Barry as he anticipates surgery, Jenny and Linda, Charlotte and Gail, and each precious indeed to our thoughts this day. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor giving you his peace, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord, this day and forevermore. Amen.